Hi and welcome back to Reladel Business. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Skrill account 2023 and verify the address. In fact, everything you need to know to set up a Skrill account from scratch to finish is in this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Also, at the end, I'll give you bonus tips on ways to fund your Skrill account from anywhere in the world. Skrill is one of the online payment gateways that is mostly used by many people because PayPal is being restricted in some countries. As a result, many people tend to use Skrill as one of their online payment gateways. So, I'm going to be creating a Squirrel account from scratch to show you how to go about it. But before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to Rolladel Business so that you'll be the first person to get notified anytime we drop another interesting video like this. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to your browser and type in Squirrel.com. It will take you to their official website, then you click on the register. When you click on register, you will come to this section when you have to fill in your first name, your last name, your country, the currency that you want to be working with, your email address and a password. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in that for someone because I already have an account. So I'm just going to create a Skrill account for someone from scratch to finish. So on this drop down list, select your country and I selected my country here. Then I select the currency that I want to be using. I'm just going to select the United States dollars and I will enter my password, write my email address in this section. After entering my email address, I'll go ahead to enter a password in the section of the password section below. A password contains eight characters, a letter and a symbol. So I'm just going to enter it straight away in this section as you can see. Then I click on the register. When I click on the register, it's going to be opened up to the next page. On this page, you can see the main balance on my account on top of the screen is zero US dollar and you can see the name on the other hand, I'm just going to go ahead and click on pay online. When you click on pay online, you have to complete this section which is the registration process. Click on get started in order to complete your registration and enter your address in this section, which is obligatory. It is the second address that is optional. Then I enter my city on this box right here. After entering my city, I enter my postal code as well as my date of birth and my telephone number. I click on next. They will send me a verification code, which is six digits to my SMS. I'm just going to copy that verification code straight away on this section. Then I click on verify. They say verification is complete to keep my account secure. Create a six digit pin. So just enter any number here, a number that you know that you can remember. On this section right here, in order to secure your Skrill account, so I'm just going to enter a six digit pin on this section and I click on save. You take me to this section where I need to choose between a credit or a debit card to debit my money into that card and pay a charge of $5 as a charge to the Skrill account that I'm creating. So. I'm just going to select my credit card right here and I click on deposit now. When I click on deposit now, I'll enter my credit card number here, the expiry date and the CV number. And after I'm done, I click on the add card and continue. Then here I need to enter $5. I need to deposit $5 into this Skrill account in order to use it as a charge. Then here you need to select this. The money available is not to pay for not to make payment for gambling sites. I select no. Then I click on continue and then I click on confirm. Then an OTP code will be sent to you. So just copy it and fill it on this box. And after you're done, click on submit. When you click on submit, your deposit has been successful. Make sure that you have more than $5 on your card to deposit into your Skrill account. They said the deposit was successful. So the $5 has been deposited successfully into your account, which will be used as charges. So we're just going to go ahead to verify our account right away. I'm just going to go over the settings or you click on verify account. I'm just going to scroll down. I click on verification. I click on verify to verify the Skrill account here. You need to verify your ID. I'm just going to go ahead to click on take and upload webcam photo. I'm just going to click on it straight away. When you click on it, you agree to the use of facial recognition and biometric data. You need to tick this box straight away and you click on continue. So you're going to verify your ID on this section and you're going to select your country in which my country has already been selected by default. So you're going to verify your ID, which may either be a passport or driver's license or your identity card. So I'm going to select an identity card in my own case, but you can select the passport or driver's license and then you upload it from your device in which you're using to create this account or you take a photo. So I'm just going to upload the file from this device, which is my desktop and I select choose file. Remember, this is a facial part of the ID. As you can see, I upload it here and I upload the back section of the ID. As you can see, it's processing. It has been uploaded. I confirm, then I choose on the back side. I still go to my desktop and I select the back side and I upload it as well, then I confirm. So it's going to move on to facial verification. I'm just going to stop the recording from here because Clear does not allow you to record your screen while making face verification. So you can do it on your own part. Now I'm back. 
I've done the facial verification and it's analyzing the biometric data. So it is done. So I'm just going to go ahead now to verify my address. So I'm going to upload a document that has my name with the address in which I'm verifying this account. And it may either be your utility bill, your bank statement, your retirement document. You can see the list from this drop down. You have a bank statement, bank statement, utility bill, credit card statement, school employment letter or enrollment letter, tax return form, council bill. So I'm going to select a bank statement and I go ahead, I click on continue. After clicking on continue, I'll have to go back to my desktop to upload this document as a proof of my location. So I'm just going to choose this file by clicking on choose file and I select this from my machine and I upload it to this section. As you can see, it's uploading. So you can use your utility bill, your school enrollment receipt, or your tax return form that has your name and the address on it exactly as you have earlier entered. So as you can see, this is my bank statement that I have uploaded on this verification of address and I click on continue and confirm. After I click on confirm, they say the address is submitted. They say we're currently experiencing a high demand for our account verification. Delays of up to a few days may occur. We thank you in advance too. So after a few days, Skrill is going to send you a message that your account has been finally verified because they have a large number of verifications that they do on a daily basis. They say your address details have been submitted and you're being reviewed. You will receive an email if you're completed once your verification is complete. So if you successfully go through this process, that this is how your Skrill account will be created and you start using Skrill. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Real Little Business for more content like this. Thanks for watching and bye for now.